I'm hot. What's the video? I have no idea. Cool. What should we do? Get an AC. We could do anything. The whole world is our playground. Sit up straight. I am up straight. I'm leaning into the camera. <laughs> what do you think we should do? We could talk about what it's like being apostolic. Men versus women. So like, being apostolic as like a lady is totally different than a man. Like I get a lot of stares. Like okay. when I walk into a place, I get like the... kind of stares, you know? <laughs> yeah. um, do you get stared at weird? It's more of how I act because a lot of guys that I work with are talk about things that I just don't want to talk about so then I'll like walk away from certain topics and then they'll wonder why. My standards are higher and, and just kind of like not watching stupid movies that these people are always talking about. It's like I've never seen any of that. It sounds like a big waste of time anyway. Like at work people will be talking about inappropriate things and I'll, like I won't partake in it or whatever. And there are times where even without people knowing me someone will cuss and then they'll look at me and go, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, that's really cool, because like, I don't cuss, but people who don't even know me and wouldn't know that even look at me and say, I'm sorry. I don't know, it's very respectful. I'm not gonna say, oh, don't cuss around me, because you can say whatever you want, I don't care. But I'm sure men get that too. The way we look is totally different, but we believe the same thing. You know, it is the same, as far as people are always saying, oh, I'm sorry that I swore I know that you're Christian and like you don't even have to ask them to not right, do that stuff right. around you like there's this one lady that I work with who's always asking me for advice she's like you're a Christian right how do you feel about this and how it goes along with the Bible so then I'll show her in the Bible where it's at and how it goes along with certain mm -hmm. things that people say are bad and it's kind of cool to get people's wanting advice from you. Men in an apostolic church wear pants and ladies wear skirts do people notice that yeah, like when it was hot, like it got up to like 100 degrees the other day and I was wearing jeans and a, like a long button up shirt. My boss was like, I can't believe you're wearing like jeans and a long sleeve shirt, I would be sweating. And I was like, oh, I don't wear shorts. Like, getting clean shaven right, stuff, right. a lot of people will be like, you should grow out a beard and stay clean shaven. <laughs> yeah, that's like me in like the winter time and stuff. I wear skirts all year round and sometimes I'll wear a skirt at my knees and people are like, you're crazy, how do you do that? And it's honestly, I've been doing it since I was so young that I'm just used to it now. I mean, I don't really think any different now. Sometimes when it's like those really cold, like negative 30s, and I wear like knee height boots. So like, I do stay warm. It's not like I'm freezing myself to death, but I don't really think any different of it. And people notice and I'm just like, Oh yeah, you're right, I am wearing a skirt. Yeah, and you know, it's kind of funny because like if you look at men and women just in the 30s and 40s and how different, or even earlier than that, just the early 1900s, it was standard for women to wear skirts and mm -hmm. have long hair and stuff and, and like guys would dress nice and wear button-up shirts and be clean shaven and comb their hair and have it clean cut, you know. And now it's just like weird when women wear a skirt. And like, I forget that I'm dressed differently than others. To me, I'm just as normal as the next guy, but, or the next gal. So like, when I do get those stairs, you know, the up and down stairs when I go somewhere, I really want to say something, like take a picture to last longer, you know? I don't feel like I'm any different than someone else. It, it almost makes people drawn to what makes you so different. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's because they want to change or if they're interested in what it is. There are times where like, I'll be treated different too because of the way I dress or the way I act. Like I said before, I don't think of myself any different than somebody who's wearing pants. It's not about what I'm wearing. Honestly, I can run in a skirt just as well as anybody in pants and tennis shoes. I don't know, have you ever been treated different? The only times that I've been treated different is like back in high school when my friends would go drink and stuff. And they'd be like, oh, you don't want to come because we're going to be doing drugs and drinking and stuff. And that's probably for the best though. That's the only thing that I can think of. It's all been good for me. Yeah, I definitely choose to not be around that stuff. I hate it when people say like I'm judging them because I don't want to be around that. It's like, no, that's just my personal choice. Like go do whatever you want, but I don't want to be a part of it. Yeah. Have you ever been told like you were being judgy because of it? Yeah, 
you're not even judging them. You don't even have to know anything about somebody's life. And if you say something about a certain topic that's touchy to them, then, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're judging them. And it's like, I didn't even know that about you. I'm just right. stating my opinion. Usually I keep my opinion inside so that I'm not get everybody all angry and stuff. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants my opinion, I'll share it. Unless they ask for it, yeah, I try to keep it in too. The world we live in nowadays is like you have to really walk on eggshells if people get offended. It's crazy. Yeah, it is really I wasn't crazy. trying to offend you. I was just living my life, really. It's not like I'm trying to say this is the way you have to live. I'm just saying how I live. I know, it's like they say that we live in America, we should have the freedom to do whatever we want. If we all have freedoms to do whatever we want, there's still a law that we have to abide by. Well, that's like stealing a candy bar from a store or shooting someone with a gun. I mean, we all have the freedom to do whatever we want, but that doesn't make it right. You know, yeah. so that just irks me when people are like, it's a free country, I can do whatever I want. Well, God gave us common sense at the same time. Yeah. You know, is it smart choice to steal that candy bar off the shelf? Like. Yeah, deep down, we all should know what's right. We're free to do that, I mean, if we don't get caught, but is it right? That's kind of where I'm getting at, I guess. Okay, so I guess that that kind of turned out a little different than I planned. I kind of thought that that was going to be more like women versus men in apostolic church and stuff and how people treat us and react to us, but it kind of changed. I mean, that was good. That Just was the good. general morals and stuff. Yeah. yeah. If you believe something different than I do, cool. I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to force my beliefs on anyone else. Do not take it that way, I promise. We're just talking in front of a camera. That's all we're trying to do. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I love reading your comments. Me too. <laughs> Even though it's not my channel. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.